Big lag. Hey guys, it's Di from Be Mommy with Style, and I probably have some little clips of Natalie at the doctor's office. We just went in for her hearing recheck, and I feel like I need to do a quick, just kind of life and moving update. And if it's not in the car, it's not going to get done at this point. I am moving craziness has kicked in. We've got family staying at the house. I had to tear down all my filming stuff. One for showing the house, and then two, my niece is hanging out with us, and she's staying in the room I normally film in. So, um, which is all good, but um, you know, it's just kind of like more of a hassle to film now. It's just a lot easier when you just have a set filming spot and it says ready to go you can just sit down and start so we're gonna be doing some car vlogs coming up um, but to update you well let's do Natalie's hearing recheck first um, so we just got out of the hearing recheck we went to audiology first to do her audiology appointment and then we went up to the ENT we kind of got conflicting reports because the audiologist wants us to come back in two weeks for hearing recheck we went up to the ENT and he said don't worry about it just come back in three months which obviously in three months We'll be living in Michigan, so it's just kind of a little here, there, and everywhere right now. So we're going to have to find an ENT and audiologist in Michigan as soon as possible. The audiologist uh, came back with, I mean, she's three and a half, so some things it's kind of hard to tell, like if she's responding to tones. Uh, her left ear was still reporting back that it's uh, not hearing at a certain percentage and that there was a bit of hearing loss still on the left side, which is the side that reported back that I had like 30% hearing loss last time or was totally blocked actually last time so it's improved from last time but still showing hearing loss so we need to recheck it at some point but I think we're gonna have to just get set up in Michigan and recheck it over there the ENT didn't seem concerned at all he was just kind of like she's three and a half she may have just not responded correctly if that makes sense but she was starting to get kind of antsy towards the end and was like okay I'm done I'm just gonna clap whenever I want <laughs> As they put the headphones on and they have to repeat words so she's sitting there going like popcorn hot dog and she has to repeat that back and then the second part of it is he plays tones in different ears and they have them clap whenever they can hear it well towards the end she was just kind of sitting there and she'd kind of clap whenever she wanted and then like the tone would go off and she'd say yay it, like just towards the end you could tell you were losing her um, attention because it was like a 20 something minute test 25 minutes or something anyhow um, so it's not horrible news but we just we had to be prepared that she may have some hearing loss after all this and it just is kind of the reality um, so I'm not like horribly upset it's not like as good as it could have turned out but um, you know it is what it is she may have some hearing loss from all of this and that's just kind of the reality so we're gonna have to get it set up with um, an audiologist an ENT over there and just kind of hope for the best and maybe it'll improve by the time we get over there um, and just maybe we'll catch her on a better day I mean she did really good I mean you did good I mean she was she was really attentive it just kind of dropped off at the end and that was when he was trying to test the left ear so what he wanted to do was come back in and start right out with the left ear but anyways so that's that moving our house is here sold it's still sold or closing in the beginning of July um, we have not found a house in Michigan and the problem with that market is things are going on and coming off the market so quickly we'll find a house uh, that our real estate agents will send us through email we'll be like yeah this is great set up a time for my husband to look at it because he's over there and it pops right back off or if I'm over there set up a time to look at it and it pops off and then the things that are sitting they have an issue they're either overpriced or they um, have like a lot of things that need to get upgraded they have a issue with the location so there's something with all the ones that are sitting that we have time to get to see and you know there's some kind of drawback or negative to all of them so I'm planning on going over and looking at houses again. I don't know that I'm going to vlog it because really honestly I'm not showing us walking through the houses or anything for obvious reasons. So really the vlogs all probably look the same like us driving to Michigan, me saying we're looking at houses. So I don't even know if I'll vlog next time but I am going to have to go look at houses again. I do think that we're going to have to expand our search. It was not something that we were wanting to do. We do not buy houses at the top end of our price range. It's not something we have ever done. Um, and I think that we're going to be raising our price. Um, what would that be? Price level that we're looking at, which is not something that either of us are really thrilled about because we don't like getting, you know, the bank says you can buy like this max a house. We usually stay way, way under that, way under that. That's just kind of our general rule when we are buying houses. And in this situation, we have to get closer to it than we would like. Um, we definitely will not max out that for sure. Um, it's just not something that we are interested in doing, but we like being way under it, like half or less 
<laughs> so um, it's just it may not happen this time we went into it trying to do that again and in this market the way that the market is I just don't know that it's gonna happen so anyways um, we're expanding our search a little bit we're expanding the price of the house a little bit if that makes sense we're raising the price um, level price number the price of the house that we're looking at and trying to see if we can find something that just hits all of our marks because my husband and I were both sick of moving um, the company that he works for is based out of Michigan so it's not one of those things where them moving us over to Illinois was the anomaly then moving us back over to Michigan was a little bit more to be expected um, that's not a huge surprise that they would want to move us to Michigan because that's where they're located um, so we could conceivably spend the rest of his career in Michigan and that would be totally acceptable. They're based out of Michigan. And so um, we're looking at this as getting something that will work and really not the things that we don't want to give in on that if we look in the lower price range, things like having a first floor laundry, you know, having a laundry in the basement. Is it something we could give on? Yeah. But if it's a house we're going to be in for like 10 years, do we really want to? Not really. Um, having something like having a little bit bigger backyard is it something we could give on yeah but again if we're gonna be in this house for a longer period of time do we really want to so I think the problem is we're being a little bit pickier things we probably would have looked past before um, you know we're, we're just being a little bit pickier and also we're coming out of this monstrosity of a house in Illinois which we bought at a great deal by the way and so it's painful looking at these houses that are smaller or like the same size but just a different configuration um, then the one that we're in in Illinois. I mean, we have a five-car garage, guys. This is—it's not going to happen in Michigan. It's not going to happen. I mean, the price level you would have to be at to get a five-car garage over there is like a million dollars. It's not going to happen. So, anyways, um, long story short, it's going. We're trying to change some things, tweak some things, so we can maybe find the house. Uh, Mommy. Natalie's had enough. She's like, enough of these car updates. So anyhow, that's life. That's moving. Well, our house here is still sold. We're still planning on moving. What I'm planning on doing in the interim, I did have a couple of you ask this. Um, at some point, I probably will end up in an extended stay hotel over in Michigan, especially if I'm still having to look at houses, which I hope is done soon. Um, but what I'm planning on doing is actually to try to save costs and just because it would be a nice thing to do, um, to go see family, is go visit my mom for like a week or so, go visit my dad for a week or so, and that'll be two things. It'd be nice for the girls to spend a week with their grandparents, but then it also help us keep costs down because we won't be staying uh, in an extended stay, which is uh, pretty expensive. It's a couple of thousand, it's more than a mortgage would be we'll put it that way it's a couple thousand dollars a month to do an extended stay um so that'll save a couple weeks there and plus the grandparents would just love that if i go stay at my mom's house for a week it would just be like a planned vacation anyways so that's kind of what i have in the back of my mind to do so for vlogs i don't know what that's going to mean because my internet's going to be kind of here there and everywhere at some of my parents houses they don't have the fastest internet <laughs> put it out there um and so I don't know what that's going to mean for vlogs. So if I have a break in there, don't panic. It's just because moving craziness. And I'll be back with you shortly. I'm hoping by the end of July things will settle down. Um, there's also a lot of background things going on in my life right now, which I have not talked about in vlogs yet, which I'm not going to talk about in vlogs because she's doing crazy. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up and I'll do dedicated videos on some of these things at some point. Um, but one of them it just ended in its positive so I'll just go ahead and mention it but one of the background things that we had going on which was huge and I just didn't even want to talk about it because it's just it's overwhelming the amount of things that are going on in our personal lives right now just in the background um, but my mom actually started losing her hearing in one of her ears and they were worried that it could be potentially a tumor or something like that so she had to have MRIs and that all came back really good she is just it's just from getting a little bit older so that's good news because it's not as bad as they were like thinking it could be so um, that's good so that's kind of taken some of that stress off and she should be able to possibly get a hearing aid and so she's sympathizing with Natalie right now with all the hearing test stuff because my mom's been having to do all of it too so we're just thankful it's not a tumor they were worried that it might be a brain tumor because she lost her hearing all of a sudden um, but it's good news and Natalie apparently needs to do potty you want to go use the potty you're fine. We just used the no, potty inside. We just literally used the potty before we came out to the car. But anyways, I'm going to wrap up the vlog because we apparently have to go hunt down a bathroom. I will update on some of the background stuff just along. But there's a lot of things besides the moving uh, that are just going on. So it's crazy. I can't even believe I'm still actually managing to post. Um, but 
don't panic if there's a couple weeks in July where it's very spotty for me because I don't know what the internet situation is going to be. All right, gonna wrap it up. She's got to go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great day.